and welcome back to another video in the Absolute Beginner Lightroom course. In this one I want to show you how to make a new catalogue and how to move between catalogues. But before I do that I want to explain a little bit about catalogues. Now a catalogue is a place where all the edits from your image are stored, like here. In addition to this, any keywords, metadata and previews are stored in it too. So every time you move a slider anywhere in Lightroom, it automatically gets stored in the catalogue. Now your images themselves, they don't live in the catalogue. They live here, either on your hard drive or if you've got an external drive, on an external drive. Now all Lightroom needs to know is where the original image is. So the location of the image also get stored in the catalogue. Now a question often asked is can I have more than one catalogue? Well yes you can. You could adopt a multi-catalogue strategy. For example if you were a wedding photographer you might wish to have a separate catalogue for each client. Now the downside of this is that Lightroom can only search in one catalogue at, at one time. So for most users of Lightroom a single catalogue is more than enough. And then the images are uniquely identified by means of keywords, pick flags and colour labels. OK, so let's make a new catalogue. I'll just bring my side panels back by clicking Shift and Tab. And here we can see that we're in a catalogue now called Lightroom Catalogue. And it's one of my training catalogues. And it's got a load of training images in here, 18, nearly 1900 images. But let's say I'm a wedding photographer and I decide I need to create a new catalogue for a new client. OK, then I'm going to go up to the file menu and click on new catalogue. It's then going to ask me where do you want to put this catalogue? Well, just so we can see it, I'm going to put it on the desktop. And we'll call it Let's say this is the Brown family. And we'll click Create. Now Lightroom will then automatically, because I've got it set to prompt me every time Lightroom exits, do I want to back up? Uh, on this occasion, I'll skip it. I'll say skip this time. Now Lightroom has closed down, and in a few seconds, it'll reopen with a brand new empty catalog. nearly there there we go so we've now got an empty catalog there's nothing in this catalog at all no images so i would now have to start importing images to bring the mist into this catalog now let's just minimize lightroom just for a second and i'll show you on the desktop here we've now got a folder called brown and this is the catalog folder that lightroom has just created if I double click to open that up, you'll see that we've got some files. Now there's a folder called the Brown Previews, and this is all the previews that will be generated when you start importing images into the catalogue. And here we've got the Brown LR cat. This is the catalogue file. This is where all the adjustments and everything are kept. Now these two, the, the LR cat lock and the LR cat journal, they're basically just admin files. You don't want to mess with them and you don't want to delete them. But it's just to show you this is where all the heavy lifting is done. This is where all the adjustments go and this is where the previews go. OK, let's go back to Lightroom again. So we've now got an, an empty Lightroom. So how can I get back to my version of Lightroom or to my catalogue? Well, I can go to File. I can go to Open Recent. And here it shows the last catalogues that were opened. And I've actually got mine here, my Lightroom catalog.lrcat, which is the one that I had open to start with. If I click on that, it says, do you want to relaunch? Yes, I do. Lightroom now closes and then we'll relaunch back to that existing catalog that I had before. And there we are back to where we started. Okay, so that's the end of our little chat about making a new catalogue. 
Next, we need to import some images into the catalog. So let's do that. And we're going to do it in the very next video. I'll see you then. Bye for now.